I do think that the film picks up kind of considerably once it drops her into, uh, you know, earliest twenty early twentieth century London, mm-hmm. and it can start playing with. Uh, it, it can both turn her into a fish out of water, which I think is sort of a uh, sort of a um, foolproof. Mm-hmm. comedic device and a dramatic one, I think. Um, and it can also sort of play with this idea, it's start playing with gender in some ways. Mm-hmm. You know, I think the, the sort of the strength of this film is so, some of its ideas about um, about kind of taking what we've come to expect from the general dynamics of Hollywood action-adventure cinema and flipping it around. I mean, Pine, who, who essentially plays the sidekick character in this mm-hmm. film, uh, sort of made his name playing Captain Kirk, this mm-hmm. ultra macho, you know, space traveler essentially yeah. in, in the Star Trek films. And here has been kind of I don't want to say reduced, but I mean he's basically been put in in the role of sidekick slash love interest. And the movie keeps putting him in a position where Wonder Woman is saving him, and that shouldn't feel that shouldn't feel subversive in 2017. But mm-hmm. I mean I think sometimes it does. Well, to me the more interesting side almost because I do like their their. Their dynamic, uh, I think, is very good. I think yeah. they've got chemistry. Um, what I do like is this slightly lost, there, there's a little lost City of Z scene in this film. I don't know <laughs> if you remember where they walk into the, um, they, wa- they walk into a debate and she gets kicked out. Yes. Um, in the same way that Sienna Miller's character isn't allowed to go down on the floor of the debate in Lost City of Z, which is set at the exact same, almost just years before. Yeah. And be also in London. Um, but there's a smarter movie that is kind of about the way you know, logically, this character would come in and tell everyone, oh, here's what's going on. But then she mm-hmm. comes in and she gets kicked out. Or right. she comes in and she gets ignored. And uh, so the parts of the plot that are basically motivated by that, I think, are, are the smarter parts of sure, the film. Sure, sure. And, and there's, there's a, a fair amount of that in the middle of the movie, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, sort, sort of dealing with that notion and uh, her as this kind of... Um, I mean, because Wonder Woman as a character was modeled at least partially on sort of feminist figures of that mm-hmm. era. Uh, a psychologist, I believe, uh, cre- created the Wonder Woman character. Um, and uh, there are sort of, uh, there are ripples of that throughout the mm-hmm. movie. I agree that a smarter movie, I think, would put that stuff front and center. And I think at a certain point, my issue with this is that it just sort of, it, it eventually it sort of slips into superhero movie autopilot.